crime from, we would get to stay home from school when the temperature hit 40 degrees Celsius. We would eagerly follow the weather in early and late summer, praying for a heat wave because we didn't really value school that much and would much rather hang out at the river or local pool. We knew we'd be fine either way. However, for these kids in Huy Ha, a remote village in Dien Bien Province, Vietnam, they know that education is vital if they are to lift themselves from poverty, and will go to great lengths to ensure that they can attend class. Even if it means climbing into a plastic bag to be dragged across a raging river. Flimsy bamboo bridges and rafts, which are used for most of the year in the village, are unsuitable when the river floods during the rainy season. This is when it's time to get creative as healthy men, fluent in rivers, are given the task of pulling more than 50 school kids across the potentially deadly torrents. According to Va Vien, the kids are afraid but determined, watching anxiously as they await their turn. The crossing is extremely dangerous because only a small mistake can be swept away by strong flood waters. Mr. Vo A. Jong, the head of Huey Ha Village, said, Now this stream is very dangerous. My relatives usually take the children by raft but now cannot use it. I hope that the state will invest in suspension bridges soon for people to travel more conveniently. Ms. Nguyen Thi Tu, principal of Na Sang Secondary School Boarding School, agreed that something must be done about the situation. The flood rains have divided Huey Ha Village, she said. From our school, there are more than 50 students in Huey Ha Village and so far, the teachers and parents have mobilized the children to attend classes the best they can. However, traveling is also difficult. We also hope that in the coming school years, there will be more investment from the state with more modern bridges to bring children to school in these rainy seasons. Because getting across the river is just the beginning for these dedicated kids. Having survived the crossing, a hike of about 5 hours over 15 kilometers of slippery forest roads awaits them. It certainly puts our stay home because it's quite hot attitudes into perspective. Knowledge and education is truly a wonderful thing, and we have great respect for these children and their parents who recognize that. Thanks to the investigative journalism of the good people at Vavien, it appears that a solution to this problem could be on the horizon, as the government looks to invest in more bridges in the remote region. Soon after the release of the original article, Minister of Transport Nguyen Van the stated the following. After receiving the press agency's feedback on the situation of students still in the village Huey Ha having to carry plastic bags to cross Nam Chun flood stream to school due to lack of investment in transport infrastructure, the Ministry of Transport has instructed Vietnam Road Administration to coordinate with local authorities at all levels to check and consider this issue.